What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I wanted to bring you a quick video talking about skill-based matchmaking. Now over the course of the last week, people have been blowing up Twitter and YouTube talking about skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty World War II and how they recently must have implemented it uh, because everybody is just getting into the sweatiest lobbies imaginable. And I have to say from my experience, this is not happening. Um, every game I get into has felt the same since the day it came out. Uh, I'm having the same amount of fun when I jump into a lobby playing against players that sometimes are better than me, sometimes aren't as good as I am. It's all been exactly the same, but I understand what people are experiencing, uh, and it's, it's really funny because it's actually just common sense as opposed to someone jumping to conclusions that they've implemented new coding that enables you to only match against players of your own skill level. I, I just find this really funny because the game is good, right? The community pretty much agrees that Call of Duty World War II is a good game. Yeah, there could be a little bit, you know, of work done on weapon balance, which is fine, you know, that'll happen over time as they collect more data and figure out how to change these weapons in the right way to make them more balanced. That's fine. You know, you can't just flick a switch and make everything balanced. It takes time. I understand that. Yeah, maybe we could use more maps. And you know what? I don't have an answer for that one. Um, I think they should have shipped the game with probably at least three or four more maps, but... Hey, that's just me. Um, I, I happen to enjoy most of the maps on the game, so I'd rather have nine good maps. Well, eight, aside from Gustav Cannon. I'd rather have eight good maps than, you know, 15 average maps. So, it is what it is. But yeah, overall, the game is good, right? Most people would assume that, yes, this is a good Call of Duty. It's better than the last couple of years. It's finally boots on the ground. It's what we've been asking for. And yeah, it's World War II, which is awesome, because we, we love that. Um, so now people just need something to complain about. And that's really what I think it is. So what i'm noticing is now that call of duty world war 2 has been out for a few weeks people start complaining that it's harder to do well uh and that makes sense because the game's been out longer um so shitty players are now better and um that's it uh that's all there is to it. Uh, there's no magic, there's no boogeyman, there's no coding that's screwing your game up, they're not out to get you specifically. The player base has had a few weeks to play, and they're better, and get over it. And that's pretty much it. Um, and I know that sounds harsh, I know that sounds rude, but it's just, it's amazing to me that all these people are on Twitter saying, well they must have turned on skill based matchmaking because uh, last week I was having a ton of fun, and now this week I'm doing really badly. And it's like... You ever think that maybe um, the shitty players, when they play it a lot, don't just stay shitty? I mean, yeah, they're not going to be as good as you, but they're going to go from, you know, a 0.7 KD to more of a 1.0 KD, which means someone's got to die more, and that's you. And that's the only way around it, because that's how math works. Um, so, you know, what's happening really is the veteran players, the people who have been playing since Call of Duty 4 are good at Call of Duty, they're very familiar with the game engine, they know how the character, how the, you're supposed to move, right? Now, that's something a lot of people forget, when they play Call of Duty for 10 years, um, the way that Call of Duty plays, the engine itself, has been adapted this entire time, but it's the same game engine, um, for good or for worse. And with that being said, to you, the way, the way your character moves and shoots and operates and stuff in Call of Duty is intuitive, it's drilled into your head because you've been playing the game for 10 years. New players, that's not the case. So for veteran players, jumping into a brand new Call of Duty, even though you don't know the gun, guns, you don't know which guns are better on what maps, you don't know the maps at all, with all that being said, you have a strictly huge advantage. You have a huge advantage jumping into a brand new COD because you know how the game plays. You you know the engine already, right? It's like you you it's like if someone's been playing League of Legends for five years and then they jump into Dota 2 or whatever, they're gonna be better at that game than someone who's never touched a MOBA before. Because even though they're unfriendly with Dota 2 at all, they at least understand the concept of a MOBA and and they'll just be better right out of the, out of the gate. The same thing happens here. If you've been playing Call of Duty since COD 4, then you just know the game. So all the veteran players do pretty well right in the beginning. You know, as they figure out, okay, this gun's better than this gun or whatever, they're learning the maps, but they know how to play Call of Duty. So as they learn, they're getting exponentially better. So, you know, the first week, week and a half or whatever, it's just like really easy. They're just pump stomping every game because they know that they know how Call of Duty works and, and they are just, it's not a level playing field because they know how to play Call of Duty. Uh, all the new players or all the people who've only been playing for two years let's say um you know they have to they're still not as good at call of duty as a franchise 
on top of the the whole learning the maps and the guns and everything like that and you know that whole situation so now that the game's been out for a few weeks um the 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 gap between shit player and and good player has shortened because there's not m much more you know once you learn the maps and the guns uh, a good player can, can get this much better but someone who isn't really that good at call of duty in general can not only get better at call of duty but they can also learn the maps and the guns and everything so now the the, the gap between great player and shit player is shorter um so that doesn't mean that it's skill-based matchmaking it just means that the shittier players aren't as shitty anymore uh, and like I said in the beginning, statistically, if you took all of the ca every player in the entire world, anyone who's ever touched Call of Duty World War II, the average kill to death ratio is one. The average kill to death, like, say it with me now. <laughs> the average KD in Call of Duty is one, uh, because for every kill, there's a death. So it has to be. And of course, we're ignoring people who jump off the map and kill themselves with a grenade. Like, those are just accidents. Those are outliers. Those aren't part of the actual game um, in terms of score, right? So the average kill to death ratio is one. So for every kill, there's a death. Um, so as the shittier players die less and kill more, uh, somebody else is dying more and getting less kills. So it just makes sense that after the game has been out for a little bit, um, you, a good player, is gonna or you're gonna start to experience the fact that you're now versing players who are a little bit better because they are because they learn because they're humans, right? You're not playing against bots. They're not they're not newbie bots. As as fun as that would be, after a month, no one would play the game because it just would get boring, right? Just pub stomping every game like that would not be fun. Um, if you don't believe me, only play newbie bots forever and tell me how long it takes before you stop playing because it's boring. Um, so that's what's happening, guys. Um, is there a skill component? to matchmaking yes yes there is a small skill component and that's to prevent 3kd players from getting into the lobby with you know 0.3kd players because that's not fun for anybody maybe for the for the 3kd player it'll be fun a couple times but besides the point they do factor in your kd a little bit but they've been doing that since like call of duty world of war or world war or i'm sorry mono for two one of those games it's been a long time since they've admitted that that is part of the algorithm and i'm glad it is it should be right uh it should be part of the algorithm um that's part of the algorithm for like every game out there uh, a small amount of skill-based matchmaking right you want to be playing against people who are kind of your level um because that's the that's competition a little even just a little bit of competition is fun right even if you're just chilling you still want to win right but you don't want it handed to you you got to work for it a little bit that's what makes the game fun so Yes, that's not news. There's a small amount of skill-based matchmaking in every Call of Duty ever. So nothing to complain about because it's not new. It's been, it's been Call of Duty forever. Is there strict, strong skill-based matchmaking? No. People are getting better at the game and that's why you're dying more or getting fewer kills and that's why it feels sweatier. Also, now your average players have picked up on the fact that oh you know what i can actually look up youtube videos i can see what the better guns are you know your average player you know, you're not this is something that people don't realize when they're drilled into the community they don't realize this your average player who plays once every two or three days their first instinct when they get a new call of duty isn't hey let me google what the best gun is now that the game's been out a few weeks they've had time to realize oh okay so people are using the bar or they're using whatever so now even those sh uh, shitty players, the average people who don't care as much about Call of Duty as you, even they've picked up on, okay, let's use the bar um, and, and let's use snipers on Gustav Cannon, etc. right? So that's the explanation, guys. The shitty players not only got better, but they've also come across new information that helps them perform better by using better weapons and equipment and class setups, etc. You can thank um, Drifter and T. Martin and, and, every, and even myself, I've made videos of saying, hey, here are the best guns. So that's that's part of it right youtube is part of the reason that shitty players get better faster but also they've just been playing longer so that's why they're better anyway that's my rant guys uh, i just wanted to make this video to clear things up um it is there's there's not there's not some boogeyman flicking switches over at sledgehammer making sure you're doing shitty so some newbie keeps flying supply drops of, i'm sure they would love to do that uh, but that's not what's actually happening um that would be ridiculous so that's it guys um if, if there's any more information if this changes if somehow we get solid evidence proving that skill-based matchmaking is in the game then i will make a follow-up video but until then uh just know that maybe slow your game down um try to work on your own gameplay and work on getting better instead of complaining that everyone else is getting better because that's really all you're complaining about when you, when you say oh there's skill-based matchmaking what you're really saying is people are doing better than me it's like 
now you're just complaining that you're shitty. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.